Oh no. Who is it, bro? Who is it, bro? Yo, Spike, I'm gonna let you finish. Let me throw in my volume one easy gang collector edition. Hold on, hold on. Let me. <laughs> okay, Spike, this music is just easy gang volume one collector. You see Monokuma is the first one that they introduced in that intro, like this nigga is the main character. I mean, it is his game, huh? What? D Gang Volume 1 Collector Edition, Jet Black or Bamboo Forest Brown Collector Limited Edition 1s. Good job! Welcome back! That was so ugly. Now you know I can't see anything when I have on my Volume 1, I'm not gonna do that again. But, it's put on the invisible so I can see everything that needs to be seen on the screen. Hope y'all having a good day, let's get in between. Chiaki, uh, I'm already know we're gonna get back in here, and it's gonna be the ominous looming music that left us last episode. Now, I know I promised three videos this week of some dangin' rompa, but I also visited my family out of town. You might get two videos. I'm sorry. So I guess it's next morning, right? Got to go to breakfast, and I suppose something unfortunate. Damn, what kind of shoes you got? Those are Timberlands. Got it. All right. How you go from Timberlands to Stacy Adams? Yo, Fuyihiko, what's good, bro? Yo. Oh, it's you, Hajime. How are you? How are you good again? Huh. <laughs> Even in such an abnormal situation, people still get hungry. Damn it, Nekomaru. What that bastard mean by his final firework? At lines more suited to a Yakuza, anyway. Yo, Nekomaru must have wanted to protect Akane at all costs. Just like how Peko wanted to protect you. Damn. Are you... Shut up! Don't say another word. Sorry. Just go on ahead to the restaurant. I'll come later. Fuyahiko. Fuyahiko, that was me giving her praise, admiration, uh, respect, like... He's so caught up. He, cause he, cause he still feel bad. He still feel bad. He, he know it was his fault that she got clapped up by every dynasty hey. warrior. Good morning, Hajime. Dynasty Warriors used to be an excellent franchise. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Morning. See. Being depressed won't help. Let's believe in Nekumaru. Come on, feel better. I need a hug and a kiss in the mouth, and then I feel excellent. She said no. All right, got it. Y'all see you upstairs, sweetheart. Hmm. As I was walking to the restaurant, I suddenly stopped. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> you could tell she was crying with her mouth open. I heard the sound of a girl crying inside the restaurant. Yo, is someone crying inside, Chiaki? Mikan? Or is it Hyoko? I peeked inside and quietly walked into the restaurant. That was a grown woman cry. That was no Hyoko. Hyoko done enough crying for a few chapters. It's probably Makan. Or Akane. <laughs> wow. Look at, look at her tear running down her bosom. Like, tears don't even fall like that, y'all. Like... And why it don't even look like tears on it, bro? Come on, y'all. Come on, seriously, Spike. Come on, huh? <laughs> that cry is disgusting, Akane. A Akane, 
You're the one who's crying? <laughs> Told you she was crying with her mouth up and tongue hanging out like Jordan. I, 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 I'm scared. What's gonna happen to us? <laughs> what? W what happened? Could she be in shock about what happened to Nekomaru? But yesterday, she was acting braver. Haji, it was an act, bro. Whoa. Every time I hear this beat now, I think of Rico. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. All right. Hey, what happened to Akane? Isn't she acting kind of weird? Whoa. I see. Hajime, be careful. That's probably not the real Fuyihiko. What? Huh? I know. The real Fuyihiko is already dead. You know what's crazy is, I know he sound crazy right now, but when Monokuma took his ass to the hospital, I was really sitting there thinking like, Monokuma's just gonna take him away and restore him back to health. Nah, something happened in that hospital, bro. That's why that's probably Fuyihiko's clone. Y you, what are you saying? Hey. Also, I heard from Monokuma that Nekomaru couldn't be saved. It's unfortunate, but a transfer student is apparently going to come as soon as a replacement. What? Bro. Bro. Nekomaru, I know he had bowel moving problems, but he was still cool. He was one of the... No, he wasn't. All right, let's see the new student. <laughs> so let's all give that person a warm welcome. You... Yo, are you messing around? It's the truth. I'm not messing around. I always speak the truth. Right? In order to prove it, I'll explain it specially to you. Listen carefully. I finally discovered who the traitor is. <laughs> You know, the true identity of World Ender. The traitor who was hiding among us is... There's no mistake. Buyakuya! What the f***? I don't mean to use the F word because I'm trying to keep my, keep my monetization, but... What the F? That's right! Kuya is alive! Yeah, he's been weird from the start, but... Isn't he acting much weirder than usual? Who else is here? Yo, Hiyoko. You got you gotta you gotta turn this little demonic thing off, bro. It's messing with everybody. Hey! Hey! It's definitely best if we keep Nagito tied up. No, not just tied up. Oh. I won't be satisfied until I peel the skin off of his face and expose the meat so we can't identify him anymore. Look at her eyes and then look behind her. That's a that's a this is what you call demonic possession. Where's everybody Bible at? Bring him to the uh, restaurant. Th that doesn't sound very gentle. Did he do something to you? <laughs> that idiot. He lied to me about Mahiru being alive and said he saw her at the movie theater. What? Bro, did somebody leave the stove, like the gas in the stove on or something? What are y'all talking about? Why? Why is he telling such a pointless lie <laughs> i don't know i i hate being lied to well, did you check the movie theater Jeez. i won't feel satisfied until all his joints are bent at awkward angles it'd probably be a waste of time to find out the reason for each little thing nagito does but i don't get this at all why did he have to tell such an outrageous lie Nagito, are you good, bro? Hey, what happened? Did did something happen to you too? <laughs> weird? What's weird? I'm always normal. I always speak the truth. That's weird. Hajime, you're the one who's strange. I see. That's it. You must be a fake too. You must be Hajime's clone. All right, so now I know. Now I know the clown theory is out the window. This dude, this dude tripping, bro. I'm gone. 
What? <laughs> what what happened to Kane? It's not like you to cry. Get a grip on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's what she's doing in the actual anime. They just can't show it because this is just a drawing. I... I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, Nekumaru got killed, you know? What are you saying? It's not like Nekumaru is dead yet. I'm scared. I don't want this anymore. <laughs> Let me go back home. Alright. She must be so shocked that Nekamaru sacrificed himself for her. No. There's no way that explains this change this sudden and drastic. Yes! That must sound like Sonya. Or Ibuki. Pardon me, everyone, but do you happen to have some time to spare? Hello. My name is Ibuki Miyoda. Look at her nose, look at her mouth, look at her eyes, look at her stance. She's not easy game, so put your arm down. Her pointers on her head look extra demonic from this angle. I don't know what that symbol is on her chest, but anything with a line going through it means anarchy. And uh, she's still mad about everybody leaving her song. So let's see what she got to say. It may be rude of me, but I would like to say my greetings first thing in the morning. Good morning. I look forward to working with you all today. I, Ibuki, am I having a nightmare? Yes, I am Ibuki Miyoda. Aren't, aren't you acting strange too? Wait, be careful, Ibuki. Hajime's dangerous. He wants to kill you and eat you. When have I ever wanted to do that in this game? W what are you saying? Yes. Mr. Hajime, I am not tasty. Please do not eat me. He's obviously lying. I see. So it was a lie. It's the truth. It's not a lie. I never tell lies. Understood. I see. So it is not a lie. It may be necessary for me to beg for my life after all. Yo, what the heck is this? You know that's not what he really wanted to say before PG-13 reasons, he said heck. Akane, Nagitu, Ibuki, Hiyoko, they're all acting strange, what's going on? Um... Did they go crazy or something? It wouldn't be strange to go crazy in a situation like this. You've got it wrong! Th 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 that's, that's not it! Yes! I Ibuki, she has an extremely high fever. That's probably the cause. Weird. Before you start talking, I want you to tell me something. Who the hell are you? Why? Whoa, why have you forgotten me? I'm Mikan Sumiki. <laughs> anyway, please try touching her forehead. If you do, you'll see what I mean. My hand to her forehead? I Ibuki, just a second. Understood. In exchange, please spare my life. Oh my gosh. I softly placed my hand onto Ibuki's forehead while she was continued to spout gibberish. Sh sh she's hot. W what is this? This heat is abnormal. Yes. That's right. She has a terribly high fever. Then, could the others? Akane, let me feel your forehead too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so weak. I placed my hand onto Akane's forehead while she groaned and kept sobbing. That must be it. She has such a high fever, there's no way that's a normal human body temperature. Nagito, you too. <laughs> I don't have a fever. I feel extremely great today. I placed my hand on his forehead. Once again, I got the same result. What? Huh? All three of them have fevers? Then the reason those guys are saying such wacky stuff is... Emergency! Emergency! Monokuma, what did you put? Let me think. What could we have eaten or drank in the past evening? There was a party. There was a bar. But we all left. I don't get it. Firework? Nah, 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 nah. When were the... The three of them were never... Alright, f*** it. My 
goodness! That's obviously bad! Monokuma? For him to appear right now, does that mean this is... Just a minute! Whoa there! Can you wait just a second for the explanation? The others are on their way too! And just as Monokuma said, I heard the sound of pounding footsteps. Everyone who gathered all had confused expressions plastered onto their faces. What's going on? Now what? Hey, hey. I heard it from Monokuma. Looks like something strange is going on again. Could it be? Did something happen, you guys? Now then. Looks like everyone's here. Now then. Let's start with the explanation. Wait. <laughs> Hold on. Monami is just the worst, bro. Like, I know she don't really serve much of a purpose outside of Monokuma punching bag, but like, every time she show up, I'm just pissed, bro. I don't, I don't get it. Why? I don't know why. She don't deserve it. Not for me, not for Monokuma, but I, I, I want to fade you. I, I, I want to knock you out. All right, Monokuma, you're pulling a prank again, aren't you? And what happened to Nekumaru? Hurry up and return him first, you robber bear! This is why I hate her. Hmm? Nekumaru? Are you talking about the boy who turns into a woman when he gets splashed with water? What? You stupid brother! Who the heck is that? Nekumaru doesn't have a weird ability like that! And there it goes. Who is that Jeez, in the middle? Shut Bro, who is that in the middle? Uh, bro, BB King? Yeah! I don't even know what's been done to me, but I feel a <laughs> mysterious like energy. Oh my gosh. Rest in peace. Well now. Now that I shut up the nuisance, let's go back to the topic at hand. Though, well done. I'm pretty sure you guys have already noticed since you're all so quick with it! So, it's just as I thought. The true identity of this high fever is... That's right! That's right! This is the new motive that I've given you! It's the despair disease! What, bro? What the... Despair disease? Actually... You know, there are extremely tiny insects! that can't be seen with the naked eye living on this island. It's true. It's not like I added them recently. I just never told you about them. Hmm. Anyway, the endemic disease spread by these insects is called the despair disease. That's disgusting. <laughs> despair disease? I've never heard of such a thing. Well? Then let me tell you about it. As the name suggests, the despair disease is a really annoying disease where you get a high fever, along with various symptoms that are full of despair. Those symptoms are different based on the person. For instance, Nagito is afflicted by the liar disease, Akane has the coward disease, Ibuki has the gullible disease, I guess. What? They just had to get symptoms that are opposite of their normal personalities. Except for Nagito. Hey, um... It's not like you are... It's not like all you guys are down with the sickness yet. But be careful. Sometimes the despair disease can get passed from person to person. Just like a cold. Huh? You, you mean it is contagious? <laughs> Don't put your guard down just because you don't have the disease. It'd be awful if everyone got sick. Hey, 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 hey! Let's run, Miss Sonia! It'd be terrible if you caught the lowly disease of the common folks! <gasps> That's right! Let's run away! I don't want to catch such a weird disease! Why? And why is that a motive? Are you saying that a killing will occur soon? After everyone falls into a crazy state? Phew! Isn't this quite a novel idea? I can't wait! I can't wait! A killing that occurs while everyone has a completely different personality? <gasps> Think of all the murder tricks! Fuck, this is gonna be hard. It... 
Is there anyone? Is there any way to treat it? Why? Why is there a need to treat it? I mean, this despair disease isn't supposed to make you suffer. <laughs> it's a disease that cures your soft hearts. Your soft hearts toward killing. And with this, you can finally take the plunge and commit murder. You, you bastard. You better stop talking about this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Did I not brush my tongue this morning? Nope, still yellow. I'm sorry I'm always bothering you. Alright. I've decided. As an apology, I'm going to commit murder. Are there any charcoal briquettes somewhere? Um. Uh, I'm pretty sure I found some at the supermarket. What, Makan? Yo, stop it! Akane, Nagito, Ibuki, you guys stay put! Hey, you're wrong. I'm not Nagito. To tell you the truth, Nagito Komet is a fake name. I'm sorry I've kept it a secret till now. Understood. What the? This is gonna be a hot ass mess, bro. She's believing him again! So serious! Amazing! Man, whatever. I feel so great today. This despair disease is awesome. <laughs> it's amazing. You all should get it too. We're all done for. There's no such thing as hope. We all have to die from this despair disease. <laughs> That's <gasps> the only way. You see how the picture, like, it, like, warped to the ground. It didn't even fall. It just warped down. Like, okay, that was kind of cool. I'll give you that. Whoa! He collapsed! <laughs> Nagito! <laughs> now that I've given you a new motive, how will things develop? Will the killing start after everyone gets the despair disease? Or even before that? Thrills, chills, kills! I'm so excited about it, I'm just gonna stand around naked! Whoa. Bring it on! Just kidding! I'm always naked. Hey, hey, hey! Damn it. Nekamaro's incident just happened, and now this? Where did that peaceful mood that lasted till yesterday go? This is bad! Nagita was foaming at the mouth! She's right! I've never even seen foam that color before! Impossible! It's an ephemerally rare color! Normally only found in the depths of the Netherworld Sea! Uh, uh, yeah. Yo, Gundam character is lacking, bro! Come on, Gundam, pick it up! And in this case... The color doesn't matter, so let's hurry him over to the hospital. Got it. I'll help out. Please wait. Um, what should we do about Akane and Ibuki? Anyway. We're definitely going to bring them too. We don't know what they'll do if we leave them alone. Hey, bastards. Can you walk? Yes. Allow me to confirm. I just have to alternate the movements of my left and right leg, correct? <laughs> Hold on. I'll walk, so don't leave me. D -d then let's go. I, I know y'all hear my stutter steps. Ugh. D -d -d then let's go. I know I killed that last line. I know it. You don't have to tell me, but I know it. <laughs> With the diseased in tow. And Nagito, whose condition was clearly worsening. We rushed over to the hospital. But this kind of motive is impossible. An actual despair disease? And there's a possibility that it might be passed along? What the heck? Damn it. What should I do? A little monologue section? Okay. <laughs> I... I We'll go make the infected change their clothes, and then I'll have them sleep in the patients' rooms. Understood. 
So I just have to change my clothes, correct? <laughs> oh my gosh. For now. I I anyway, everyone else, please wait here. As she supported all three of them with their shoulders, Makan disappeared into the depths of the hospital. Damn it! I never expected us to get sick. What's gonna happen to us? Oh, I did. He didn't even say all that. Let all right. Let me tell you this. I would not mind if Megiddo retired permanently. Maybe. Is Makan gonna personally change their clothes? Yo, what's wrong with that? Wow. Does that include Nagito too? Isn't that a little bad? <laughs> There's no need to panic. Even I attend to the needs of my four dark divas of destruction. Hey, hey, hey! Don't lump hamsters and teenage boys together. Um. Hey, is this stupid conversation gonna last much longer? Hey! Shouldn't we be seriously thinking about what we need to do from now on and stuff? What we need to do from now on? Hmm. What do you, what do you got Jeez. in mind? That disease sure looks dangerous. Nagito, Akane, and Ibuki aren't acting normal. If it spreads to anyone else, killing is bound to happen. Let me tell you this. Based on their observed behavior, I cannot deny that. Why does Gundam's voice acting have are so long? Like, but he knew he wasn't finna get long lines. That's why he got to do it in voice acting. But those guys are being considerate. I want them to at least have the decency to consider committing suicide before they start bothering us. That is... Hey, hey, hey Hiyoko. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it can't be that easy. So it's important to make sure we don't end up catching that disease. Make sure? What do you mean? Which cockroach said that? Jeez, why don't you get it? We need to isolate them from us so they won't spread the disease. I I isolate you if you can't cure it the only option is to stop it from spreading even a preschooler knows that but but still isn't isolating them a bit too harsh hey if everyone catches the despair disease we won't be able to do anything about it anymore you know this is bad you're right there's no way we should allow it to spread uh, hold on a sec. Chiaki's staying quiet. Hey, hey. Isolation. You mean we need to quarantine them inside the hospital, right? Ch Ch Chiaki, don't tell me you also agree with this. Haji, what do you agree with? What are you thinking to do, bro? You want them to just roam freely, all of us get diseased, and all of us die, and then all of us in our in our wrong state of mind. Go to the trial, loopy doopy, and end up killing everybody. Like, Haji, shut your ass up and let Chiaki work. Wrong. Thank you. It's to prevent a killing. Thank you. As long as that disease is Monokuma's motive, if we just ignore it, a killing will happen again. To prevent that, we also have to prevent the disease from spreading. That's why we need to quarantine them. Like... Even if we quarantine them, Who's gonna take care of them? <laughs> Makan's gonna stay here anyway. She's been touching the infected all over, so it's possible she's already caught the disease. But you know, there's no way we can leave her by herself. Hey! Then why don't you stay too? Huh? Like at least how? Like yes, bro. You don't make one arguing against huh? this plan. Now that I think about it. You touched them when you took their temperature, right? Oh. <laughs> so, I'll leave the rest to you. Contact me if something happens. Bye, uh, late. C contact you? How are we supposed to do that? Jeez! Oh, right. We need to think of a way to communicate. If we keep meeting in person, we could catch the disease. Hey, you! So... I'll let you handle that, Kazuchi. Uh, yeah, got it. Fine. Fret not. We are not going to abandon you. 
I shall station myself nearby in case anything happens. Nearby? There is a motel on this island. Until this matter is resolved, we shall stay the night there. Huh? What? Do we really have to stay at such a dirty place? Silence. What are we supposed to do if we can't immediately get here if something happens? Also, if that disease is airborne, the hotel on the first island might already be unsafe. This is the Tanaka Empire! We must be vigilant about protection. I have those who I must protect. The dude on his two fingers is protecting all of us. One man band, y'all. Like, look at how angry this rat is. I don't get it. How is he able to arrest a hamster on his cape? Is that a magic cape? All right. Ooh. They're just hamsters, dude. I'll destroy you! That is an unkind thing to say, you fiend. How dare you call my four dark divas of destruction hamsters? Oh, that's why y'all got on me last a few episodes back when I said put respect on a rat's name i didn't put respect on him i apologize these are dark divas of destruction not answers fine i'll just stay at the motel okay jeez how annoying <laughs> even if it's a quarantine we're still gonna be on the same island so just call us if something happens huh w what what are you frustrated for? I don't like this. This is obviously a trap. Monokuma's goal is to separate us as a group. Is it really okay for us to fall for that? So... It's not like we stopped being friends. I just don't want a killing to happen ever again. We can't prevent that if everyone gets sick, you know? Why was y'all in my comment section talking about I'm finna tell Chiaki about Quincy from VR chat? Like, bro, you don't have to tell. You don't. Why are y'all snitching? You know, right? That hurt my eyes. Yeah, that's right, man. There's no way we're gonna lose together here, you know? That's right. Because if that happens, then Monokuma gets what he wants. Hey, Hiyoko, what did you say to me earlier? Something about me being the first one to get cut off? And? W what's wrong with that? Huh. This... This must be that moment. It's not like Makan and Hajime are enough people. You! Are you saying you're gonna stay here too? Huh? You too? Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, he stepped up. He stepped up. This life of mine is a spare anyway. <laughs> Fine then. Do whatever you want. Hey, Fuyahiko. Are you sure? You might be endangering yourself, you know. Jeez. Hey, don't make me repeat myself. Hey, hey. Y you're, you're really okay with this. Then... I'm gonna leave the rest to you too. <laughs> Whatever's happening over here, just leave it to us. We'll make sure to keep the disease from spreading. Come on. Shouldn't you guys head over to the motel before you catch the disease? I am sorry. I, I am sorry we are forcing this upon you like this. No, what everyone's saying is true, so it's okay. Thanks. Thank you, both of you. I won't let your feelings go to waste. We'll make sure to find out the mystery of the despair disease while you're all here. I think. Probably. I I'd really prefer if she had a more confident sounding catchphrase. Hajime, you've been the downer this entire conversation, bro. Um. Now then, I shall excuse myself. I am counting on you. <laughs> Then I'll make sure to figure some way to communicate later. Bye! Bye-bye! Do your best and try to stay alive. Just like that, the others left, leaving me and Fuyahiko at the hospital. 
I never expected it would turn out like this. Jeez. Facts. It's not like it's their fault. It's that bastard Monokuma's fault. I can't believe he'd actually arrange something as irritating as a disease. Hello. Ah, thank you for waiting. <laughs> Now look, early prediction because I'm just getting the feeling I want to talk with y'all about it. Makan has everybody in their own separate room. She could have done anything this entire conversation. She's going to be a suspect when the murder happens, depending on who it is. Depending on who it is. Because that this also could be her alibi. She was taking care of the three patients. I'd hate to see it be Makan though. Makan been going through a lot of bull. Ooh, ain't no telling who this next killing finna be. Alright, let's keep going. Phew. They finally finished changing. Everyone's resting in their rooms. Uh, huh? Why is it just you two? Huh? Um, you know. I, I know. They must have left to get fruits to bring back later. Uh, everyone is so kind. I'm so glad everyone is so thoughtful toward their friends! Well... Well, like I said... <laughs> we're all equals when we're sick! Let's all work together and do our very best! I don't think I've been sick once since I've been in Texas, knock on wood. Let me drink some water just in case. Hajime, I'm sorry, but... I'll let you handle the explanation. That's quite the burden I have to bear. And so, we decided to split into two groups. In the hospital, there are three people who caught Monokuma's despair disease. Akane, Nagito, and Ibuki. There's also Makan, who's nursing them back to health. And as a safeguard for Yahiko and myself, Altogether, six people are staying at the hospital. This is going to be integral to the to the killing, I think. Chiaki, Gundam, Kazuchi, Sonya, and Hiyoko are staying at the motel on the same island. As for Nekamaru, he's not back yet, but anyway, until we do something about this despair disease, our current situation isn't going to change. But we have no clue what we need to do. Seriously, what should we do? What room is this? I suddenly woke up. And if I woke up, that means I fell asleep without realizing it. Earlier, I discussed it with Fuyahiko and we decided we'd take turns resting. That's right, okay. That's why I came to the on-call room on the second floor of the hospital. And I haven't been sleeping well the past few days. So a sudden drowsiness overtook me. And I was asleep, which is a good thing, but... My body feels really heavy for some reason. Don't tell me you got infected, bro. No. It's not just heavy. It feels somewhat soft and... I can't breathe. And here y'all go, go in the comments. Please, y'all finna tell Shiaki. She's gonna get you. You're a cheater. Lying cheater. Haji, Haji be getting it in, bro. Like, why am I a little mad about this? Look at his hair, bro. That's supposed to... I know what that's supposed to symbolize, Spike. You're not slick with that stiff ass piece of hair, bro! <laughs> because. You're tickling me. Yeah, I bet I am, dude. You tickling something on me, too. <gasps> Move! I I can't breathe! Haji, that's that's the best way to go out, bro. Just just die in the arms of a loving No, it's not. Let me just relax. Sometimes I'd be I'd be over thirsty, bro. But I can't help it, I'm a freak. Alright. But I can't help it, I'm a freak. Alright. I don't see her waking up or moving. 
Hajime, are, are you okay? Your complexion is a bluish purple shade. It, it might be a severe cyanotic reaction. Hajime, can you hear me? Get a hold of yourself. Makan finally got off me, grabbed me by my shoulders, and began shaking me intensely. Somehow, that was enough to get my consciousness to drift back to reality. Hajime! You, re you regained consciousness! I'm, I'm so glad! I, th I thought you died! M me too. I seriously thought I was gonna die! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I thought about taking a rest in the on call room, but you were already asleep, so... That doesn't mean you can climb on top of me. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. You want some rest, too? Should we all tired? Yeah. In the morning when we wake up, well, I'll take it to go get some coffee. But tonight, <laughs> I'm cold. Hold me. <laughs> Blanket. <laughs> More body heat. Uh. <laughs> then, I'll be on the bottom next time. Lay on your stomach. Uh. Poke it out. Uh. That's seriously not what I'm talking hey, about. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. What are you guys doing? Fuya Ego? No, this is... I really hope you didn't get the wrong idea. Don't tell me. W were you guys sleeping together? Bastard. You, you dirty, rotten bastard. You guys are fucking high school students. Seriously, bro, you got this all wrong. And you know what? They may be high school students, but they all 18, bro. I've already looked it up. Don't sit up here and try and give me a case. Like, they all 18, bro. They all 18. Get off me. Damn it. And, and, even, and even still, I'm Hajime. I'm 18-year-old Hajime. I'm not 26-year-old perverted. Berlin. But they need a man. Ugh. Uh, I got experience. Uh, <laughs> we don't have time for that. Nagito, he's in danger. Danger? What? When I peeked inside his room earlier, it looked like he wasn't breathing. Huh? <laughs> huh? Th this is bad! Now is not the time for us to rest! Mikan vigorously leapt out of the bed and ran out of the on-call room. Damn it! Hajime, now is not the time for you to be pitching a tent! We need to hurry! S seriously, I'm not! Fuyihiko and I chased after Mikan as she ran into Nagito's room. Nagito would not be dead, bro. Come on now. N Nagito, please get a hold of yourself. Despite Makan's desperate pleas, I didn't see Nagito react at all. Don't tell me. There's no way he died, right? The body discovery announcement isn't playing, right? Hey, fidget, fidget. Damn it. He's totally waiting for it. What the fuck was that? Damn it. This looks very bad. Nagito! Despite Makan's desperate cries, I didn't see Nagito react at all. Um, um, um. Makan, is Nagito alright? Well. Uh, uh, um. It looks like his breathing has returned. R really? Uh. But still. His condition is unpredictable, and that's putting it lightly. Hey, hey! How light is that? Is it sweet potato sauce? Well, if so, that's pretty light. I hate how he has the flower pop up like everything is just cool, like it is not cool right now. Uh, uh, yeah. Please don't interfere! <laughs> hey, look, isn't Nagito's mouth moving? You're right. He might be trying to say something. <laughs> Nagito! What happened? As she said his name, 
Makan softly tilted her ear toward Nagito's lips. What did he say? Uh, apparently his condition has improved, and he feels quite refreshed. Um, since Monokuma said that Nagito has the liar disease, he probably means the opposite, and actually feels really crappy. Like... But what's gonna happen if he just dies? We're not going to have a class trial, right? <laughs> Don't talk like that! Nikito is never going to die! I will save him by any means necessary! I see. I see. Got it. Then I leave Nikito's life to you. Yes! Far from her usual self, Makan responded assertively and went back to tending Nikito. If we stay here any longer, we might just get in the way. Damn right! Then follow me. While you were resting, the goods arrived. And I gotta show them to you. The goods? Aren't something dangerous, right? Anyway. Let's go to the lobby. Alright, whatever. The goods arrived? What are you talking about? What is he ever talking about? Whoa, let's get the mess out of me, dude. Anyway. Oh, alright. Well, I'm following you, bitch. Hey, Fuyahiko. What did you mean when you said good? Damn right. Look on top of the reception desk. On top of the reception desk? What is that? A uh, uh, se uh, uh, Sega, uh, bro. Sega used to have a handheld console back in the day. I'm about to look that up after this recording. It was called the Sega. I think it was the Sega Gear. I can't remember. Fuyahiko was talking about this, right? It looks like a monitor in a camera unit. Yo, what is this? <laughs> Perfect timing. The blue light is blinking. Does something happen when this blinks? Seeing is believing, as they say. Try pressing the button just below that light. I just have to press the button? I did what Fuyiko said and pressed the button. What's up? Hey, is this Hajime? <laughs> Loud and clear. Looks like it's perfectly connected. Kazuchi? Then this is... Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's the way to communicate he was talking about. Oh, lit. Alright! Looks like it's time for the ultimate mechanic to shine. That might be a thumbnail. How about it? This is what I've been working on! <laughs> Remember that alley with all those shady looking street booths? This is where I found it! It's a surveillance camera for household use. And I just tweaked it a little. <laughs> so now, it's basically a video chat device. Well, it's pretty hit or miss, but... Video chat, Can huh? Get it? It's true. We don't have to worry about getting infected with this. That's right! So, it, it may be a hassle, but we'll be contacting each other with this from now on, okay? This was only a test run this time, so I, I guess this should be pretty fun. Okay then, see you later! Peace out, dude. Huh. Kazuchi left this while you were resting. Damn right! This surveillance camera unit comes with a surveillance camera and a surveillance monitor. Anything the camera records is broadcast live on the monitor. So he prepared two of these sets and swap each of their cameras. Ooh, genius, genius. That's how long as a well, range that shit got on it. I see. By swapping the cameras, his monitor will display what's on my camera and vice versa. Oh, that's my voice, my fault. Apparently, he also modified it a little. He widened its narrow communication range beyond just household use. Okay, there it goes. Even he did so. just say that, huh? I'm a dumbass. But even so, 
he still had a limit, so apparently the signal can't reach from the hospital to the motel. Then we can't communicate between the hospital and the motel. <laughs> you didn't notice? He was contacting you just now from the music venue near the motel. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't notice at all, bro. From there, the signal reaches the hospital with no problems. But they're staying at the motel, right? What happens if we can't reach them when we need to? Damn right. I thought the same thing. So we arranged times for us to contact each other. It's set up for us to communicate 30 minutes after morning... Morning... Monokuma's morning and evening announcements. <laughs> Our next contact with them is going to be tomorrow morning. Don't sleep in. Or sleep with. He's well prepared. As expected of the heir of an enormous organization. Huh? Huh? What is it? Nothing. Alright. It is now. Please return to We know. Now, we know. We know. Good night. We know. Shut your ass up. We know. Now then. It's that time already, huh? Now then. Where should I sleep tonight? <laughs> Are you planning to use the on-call room with a certain someone again? Like I fucking said, it's not what it looked like. Don't tell Chiaki. You guys. Hey, hey. Aren't you misunderstanding? What are you thinking? A hospital is a facility for sick people. So it's not for lodging or your young romantic trias, you know? You two? What are you talking about? I don't like this. Oh, I see. Your generation has fallen out of the habit of looking at bulletin boards. I'm being like Come on. Take a look at the bulletin board. There's a notice on there, right? I notice on the bulletin board. I thought I read that already, no? Oh, they wouldn't let me actually read it last time. A bulletin board notice. Is he talking about this? Hospital pr precautions. Eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. Also, if patients do not need to be accompanied, overnight stays by non-patients are expressly forbidden. In other words... Right! It's like the notice... Notices you often see inside hospitals. You can't stay overnight here. What are you saying? There is one patient who needs to be accompanied. Hmm. Oh, you're talking about Nagito, right? Unbelievable. Then I'll allow just one person to accompany him. The rest of you need to hurry up and get out of here. Jeez. Hospital precautions, my ass. He should have said so sooner. Only one person can stay tonight, and there's no way we can make Makan leave. Jeez, you're pathetic. I guess we have no choice. We should head back to our cottages then. I don't like the sound of that. That might mean Makan's also a target, bro. You're right. Even if we stay here, we probably won't be able to do anything. Oh no, oh no, I don't like this. After explaining the circumstances to Makan, we decided to go back to our cottages for the time being. I don't like this. Please be morning. Oh gosh, it's still nighttime. So, Fuyahiko and I are going to be the only ones sleeping in our cottages tonight. I'm a little worried. A little worried. I'm extremely, enormously worried, bro. I need way more emphasis on the worry, bro. No. The ones who are stuck in the hospital should be more worried. Yeah. What's the point of me getting so worried? <sighs> Alright. When I wake up tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital right away. I feel bad leaving Makan alone. I guess for now, I should try to get some sleep. Dude, if something happens to Makan, I'm gonna be on a freaking chopping block, bro. Monokuma appears! I don't even care about this theater.
Brought to you by... Nobody watching your show. You fake ass easy cooking with a with way more history than cooking. Shut your ass up. Good morning. Good morning, Monokuma. Like I just said a few minutes ago, shut your ass up. Shut your ass up. Shut your ass up. I'm worried about Makan and the others. I should hurry over to the hospital. The moment I got out of my bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. Makan, please be alive, please be alive, please be alive, please be alive, please be alive. Where is she at? Where is she at? Where is she at? Yo, you came early today. You're the one who's early. Damn right. Well, I just got here. So what should we do? There's still a little time before we need to make contact. Wanna go to Nagito's room and check up on him? Yeah, I'm worried about how he's doing and Makan, bro. Worry? Why do I have to worry about a guy like him? Still. Then let's go! Please be alive, please be alive, please be alive, please be alive, please move, move, please be alive, please be alive. Oh, his little picture right there. Why is the music going faint, y'all? Why did it fade the text away, y'all? Okay, go, 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 go. Makan. How's Nagito doing? Um, same as usual. No, actually, he might be worse than yesterday. This is bad. F fucking serious. Uh, His pulse is extremely weak. He might slip into critical condition sometime today. I is he that sick? <laughs> but as long as I'm his nurse. I will never let Nagito die! <laughs> Ever! I do understand how you feel, but don't overexert yourself, okay? Aww. Hey, Hajime. It's almost time to start the connection. We need to head over to the lobby. Yeah, I got it. After being reminded of how powerless I am, I left Nagito's room. Damn, bro. I think I'm gonna I'm I'm stand up, y'all. Give me a second. My back hurt. The incoming signal light is blinking. Now then. Looks like they're already waiting. Let's hurry up and start the connection. Yeah, you're right. I press the button underneath the blinking light and the monitor instantly lit up. Looks like the camera and the monitor had no problem making the connection. Soon enough, a familiar face showed up on the other side of the monitor. What's up? Hello? How is it? Can you see my handsome face? Yeah, I see you real clear. <laughs> <laughs> We're good on our end too. I can totally see your broke ass faces. Bitch, ain't no job, ain't no employment, ain't no currency here, bitch. It might be best if I tell the others about Nagito's condition. Hey, are you the only one over there? Nope. Nope. We're all here except for Hiyoko. Chiaki, it's so nice to see your face. Them big pink eyeballs matching that excellent makeshift tie that you have on. Floating down your bosom. Alright. What happened to Hiyoko? <laughs> it seems we all look like aberrant enemies in the eyes of that coward. Um... She has locked herself in her room. She said from the other side of the door that she won't come out until the despair disease has been cured. She's even being cautious around the others in the motel, huh? Looks like they're also in a testy situation. Hey, hey! So how about you? How are you guys doing? Yeah, about that. To tell you the truth, Nagito's actually in serious danger. You. I already know he's seriously dangerous! Well. No, not that. He's seriously wandering the border between life and death. What? What did you say? However... But he is going to be okay, right? Nagito is going to get better? Hey, hey! First Nikamaru, then Nagito! 
That ain't funny at all, man. Well, for now, we really can't say. Yes. You really can't say? That's impossible. Monami, why are you on that side? Um, cuz it'd be dangerous if I got close to the hospital since I didn't even know what's going on there. You are really pissing me off. Like, why does a stupid stuffed animal need to be cautious about a disease? You can't! Please don't discriminate! That despair disease is horrible. It's a dangerous disease that can even destroy this island. So, until we figure out how to deal with it, I will be on this side. Before I could respond to Monami, Fuyahiko had cut the connection. Don't fuck with me! That shitty stuffed animal! She seriously pissed me off! Oh damn it! I'm going outside to cool off! Fuyahiko practically spat those words before he went outside. Anyway, all we can do now is wait. Just wait patiently until the situation improves and changes for the better. Bro, this is a straight filler episode. Like, where's the plot at? I mean, there's plot, but it's like, it's kind of slow. That's why we waited patiently. Because waiting patiently was the only thing we could do. We waited patiently. On a side note, why can't I relax when I'm in a freaking hospital? Like, I paced back and forth around the hospital lobby. Fuyuhiko entered and left the hospital many times. And time just kept passing by. At least this was rushed. Thank God. Ahem! It is now. Please reach Melbin! We know. We know. Damn it! It feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over. And now it's nighttime already. It's almost time for tonight's transmission. Jeez. You're pathetic. We should, we should go back to our cottages when that's done. It's fucking annoying to keep going back and forth, though. But before we go back, can we check on Nagito one more time? Go for it. Leave this transmission thing to me. Jeez. They're not going to have a new clue anyway. I can handle this. Then I'll leave it to you. I trust, I trust Fuyuhiko, he already lost somebody, like, he has no reason to keep trying to kill people, he's probably the one person in here that, what the f- Whoa, Ibuki? W what are you doing here? You need to be resting. Yes. To tell you the truth, I have been getting quite bored doing nothing but sleeping. Also, it would just trouble you if I slept all the time. So I was hoping I can help you with anything. But it's better if I am sleeping, correct? Yeah, just get some rest for now. It'd be a big help if you got better soon. Understood. Yes, understood. That's kind of scary. I hope she gets better real soon. Somebody can literally walk in here and tell Ibuki to kill someone and she would do it. She, she's like, should I go check on her and make sure she in the bed, bruh? What the, what the fuck was that about? Go to sleep, Ibuki. Why are you standing there? Yes. Just as you ordered. I am getting proper rest. So please do not worry. Why did I have to read that? This is definitely a hospital. Yeah, there's... A, bro, it's a bed and you're in the hospital, bro. What you talking about, bro? Nagito... Oh shit! Oh my! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Does that mean that that, that she boo booed, or does that mean that she just hatched? Usami! Ah! Uh! <laughs> she fly? I hate that it kind of looked like Monami a little bit though. Fuck! Wait a minute, Usami! That was before Monami changed. That's the original, the OG, the number one stunner, like. What? Alright. That's kinda cool though. I, I get the original before she pissed me off. 
Wait, 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 wait. But that was a terrifying animation. Whoa, I didn't know this. all this was up here. Hold on. Staff room? Oh, on call room. Let me just look around real quick. This music is making this hospital feel real, real like dreary, like. What the heck? Medical equipment and nursing tools. There's a lot of other medical stuff here too. This room looks like it's used to store equipment. Bed, bed, cameras, cameras. All right, we are. Go fall. Okay, so the only thing up upstairs is the on-call room. What is this room? The conference room. They really level you up like that matters. Y'all also told me to start spending hope fragments on things, so I'm, I'm gonna do that uh, in a minute. The next episode. Hmm, this room is... There's a lot of chairs and desks here. I guess it's sort of like a conference room. It's a folding desk. They probably arranged these inside the conference room during meetings. It's a big curtain. A big black curtain inside a hospital. It doesn't really seem like it belongs. Is that because this is a conference room? It's a projector. Well, it's not strange for it to be in a conference room after all. It's a really big window. The room looks more spacious thanks to that. Alright, we out, we out, we out. Huh. Alright, all it is up here. What is that? Bro! What am I looking at? They take him in, they take him into the emergency room, an alien. An alien area 51 surgery, and then Huh? Are you serious? I was that was not my intention. That was not my intention, but cool. Alright, alright, what the f Akane. Can I go in let me let me just let me just Okay, okay, okay. Let me check on Akane real quick, then, we, then we'll do Nagito. Okay. <laughs> Usually, she'd be more like, I'll beat the crap out of ghosts. Akane acting like this just isn't Akane. Yeah, no shit, Haji. No shit, bro. Excellent observation, bro. Uh, S tier observation, bro. Alright, let's see what Nagi got to say. Makan's too focused on caring for Nagito. She hasn't even noticed that I entered the room. Has she been caring for him this whole time? Hey, Makan. Hey, uh, Makan? No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is turned toward me as if she, as she focused on caring for Nagito. I peeked over Makan's shoulder and... Hey, Makan, are you okay? <coughs> Looks like you finally noticed. <coughs> Please don't surprise me. I almost got... And Haji's gonna ask about it. What? Yeah, bro. Um, uh, d did you come by to check on Nikito? I just wanted to see how he was doing. But you look pretty tired, too. Isn't it better if you get a little rest? Um, um I hope I'm not mistaken. That'd be really embarrassing. Are you, by chance, worried about me? Y yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. I'll remember this moment until the day I die. <laughs> I'm starting to get my energy back, so I'll 
get back to taking care of Nagito. I hope she understood what I said. But she's working so hard, it'd be bad if I kept getting in her way. That's exactly how I felt. So I decided to just shut up and go back to the lobby. Fuyihiko, what you got for me, bro? What's the word, bro? Yo! How's Nagito doing? I'm more worried about Makan than Nagito. She looks like she's had no time to rest. Damn it. Nagito's probably not doing so well. Now, what about you? Are you guys done with the transmission? Jeez. As I expected, we wrapped it up quickly. Like they had nothing new to report. They're apparently trying to find a cure somehow, but there hasn't been any progress. So on both our ends, it looks like we had no results. Jeez, you're pathetic. Oh well. Let's look forward to tomorrow. With a depressingly heavy mood riding on our backs, we headed back to our cottages. My worries have piled so high that one sigh just isn't enough. And the more I think about it, it's like I'm slowly being sucked deeper and deeper into an endless pit. I guess for today, I should just go to sleep. It's best if I not dwell on it too much. And not just that, first thing in the morning, I need to go to the hospital again. I kept telling myself that as I sighed one last time slowly close my eyes if I get another Monokuma theater all right out of the blue a hazy scene began to take shape from the depths of my consciousness it slowly took its time hazily like watercolor paint suspended in water slowly hazily Maybe a thumbnail, probably a thumbnail. There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I've seen before, but I don't know where. I can hear voices, somebody's talking. Did you hear? Isn't it amazing? Apparently he's been accepted into Hope Speak Academy. But was he that exceptional? Those are noises. I'm dully staring out the window pretending not to listen I don't want to listen but even if I don't want to listen the noises leap into my ears huh you don't know <laughs> know what apparently you don't have to be exceptional to get into Hope Speak Academy but it's an academy that recruits only exceptional students from around the world right I wanted to cover my ears I wanted to run to the place I deserve to be not here to the place where I can be more confident. Wow, I never knew that was that way it was possible. So he's the same too. Tch, obviously. I mean, he doesn't have any special talents that Ospeak Academy would be interested in. He's just a normal guy who can be found anywhere. <laughs> well, admiring the academy is free, but it must be tough for the parents who have to write the check. leave me alone I just I just want to become someone who's confident in myself what is this anyway who are they talking about why can't I remember who am I wake up my nigga wake up oh my gosh the second Monokuma theater hey hey did you know that talking about a personal failure is a good way to break the ice when meeting new people? So, I'm gonna tell you my story of personal failure. In the wild where we live in, popularity is a symbol of power, sadly. That's why I decided to write a fake love letter to myself, so I could brag about it to others. I was bragging about it to my friend, but unfortunately all I had was an envelope. When my friend wanted me to show him the unwritten letter, I was in a real bind. So I showed him a blank piece of paper and said this. This letter was written with special ink. Only those chosen by God can see it. But 
<laughs> when I said that, he was all, that love letter is brimming with passion. However, things started looking bad at that point. The other people around us started praising him because they thought he could really read the letter. That's when he started hogging everyone's attention as a divine messenger of God. And eventually, he was worshipped by society. Now, he uses his followers to sell shady faces for a quick buck. Thanks to my big mouth, he became a multi-millionaire. How regretful. What an epic fail. That was my story of personal failure. What did you think of it? Is the ice broken? Since you listen to me, wanna buy this vase? <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face, dude. This dude, he really think he's smooth all the time I see him and that shit really... Let me relax, it don't. <sighs> it's morning, huh? But for some reason, my body's heavy. Okay, bro, if Makan is in my room right now... How did you almost scare me too, dude? <laughs> bro, let her, bro, give her some, bro. Like, obviously, bro. Look at. Me can again. Hurry up and move. I, I, I can't breathe. <laughs> I will, I'm, I'm, I'm dying for a woman to, 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 to bury me in her arms and bosom and body until I can't breathe while I'm trying to get some sleep. Like, this is goals. And, it's, and they over here doing it twice to this ungrateful ass. Look, look, look at his hair now. He said, we, he said I can't do round two. Wait. Uh -huh. Yeah! Hajime's gone limp. Oh, please get a hold of yourself! <laughs> yes, I regained consciousness. Oh, I'm so glad! I thought you died from suffocation! M Mikan, why are you... Why are you here? The Monokuma announcement hasn't aired yet. Uh, now that you mention it... Uh, I came here to wake you up, but it seems like I accidentally fell asleep. W what kind of accident is that? But... Well, but good, good news. You see, Nagito's condition has stabilized. R really? And I rushed over to let you guys know, but Fuyahigo's room was locked, so... Oh, yeah. My lock is still broken. Thanks, Ibuki. <laughs> Anyway, please hurry over. Nagito could probably be saved. Yeah. Got it. Can I put my drawers on, please? I quickly got dressed and headed over to the hospital with Mikan. Although I did wonder why it was necessary to be so pumped up for someone like Nagito. Oh well, best not to think about it. Tell me something, Makan. Okay, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. Bro, what about the other two? Well, I guess they're not in critical condition, right? Mm. Uh, okay, my boy. There I saw Nagito, who managed to sit up in his bed. Nagito? Can you hear me? Hajime came by to see how you were doing! <laughs> the twin Ibukis are singing. I see. The Ibuki must have been a twin duo. <laughs> the Veronicas! <laughs> Is he supposed to be cured? Well... It's not like he's completely cured. He was just able to recover from his critical condition. <laughs> They were utilizing their characteristics as twins, and they've been taking turns appearing before me. Which means there are actually 17 people on this island, 
how do you come out of a coma and immediately go back to solving a crime? Like, Nagito, go to bed, bro. Drink water, bro. <laughs> the Veronicas, that's the answer. Hmm. After seeing this, it might have been better if he stayed quiet for just a little bit longer. <laughs> but I'm so glad. I'm so relieved Nagito regained consciousness. I feel dizzy. Somehow, everything is spinning around me. Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? Um. Then, if you insist, I will use the on-call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. Yeah, I'll do that. Um. Then... Even though it's the morning, good night. Makan wobbled around a bit, then left the room. She's definitely exhausted. Makan, a real one. Clap it up for Makan. Let's give her, let's give her her roses while she's still alive. I hope there's not repercussions for what I just said. Well, it's understandable. I mean, she fell asleep when she was supposed to come wake me up. Man. All alone with the Hajime, huh? I can't stand being in the same room as you. Don't worry, I'm leaving. He got the liar disease, you know he loved me. You should focus on curing that crappy disease of yours. <clears throat> yeah, hurry up and go away. I don't want to see your face anymore. Aww. Aww. That broke my little heart, bro. You know he want me to stay, bro, and kick it with him, bro. He's got the easiest disease to deal with. Okay, wait in the morning, wait in the room for the announcement. They said do not check on the other two. Forget them, they're not important. Huh? The surveillance camera unit's light is blinking. That's weird, it's not transmission time yet. Where is Fuyahiko at? Oh gosh. That's pretty early. We haven't even received the Monokuma announcement yet. It might be something urgent, though. So there's no way I can make them wait until... Bro, then pick it up! Bro! Oh, shoot. Huh? Upon first glance, I immediately knew it wasn't a normal video. What the f***? A slowly swaying, dim light is shining on the black curtains. It felt like some sort of ritual was about to begin. Is this light from a candle? But what was creepiest of all was the rope hanging from the ceiling. The end of the rope was tied in a loop and beneath it there was a stepladder. It was like a, a gallows. What is this? I didn't understand at all. What's going on at the music venue? And that's when it happened. I don't want to see this. The moment I saw a silhouette slowly entering the frame from the side of the screen. Chill, uh, <coughs> Chills ran down my spine as if someone was dragging ice on me. A person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head. What the? As I raised my voice in surprise, the person in the hospital gown slowly started moving. And began climbing the stepladder. I don't know if I should make these my thumbnails, but I'm going to go through them and see. Slowly. Slowly, they took their time climbing it. They reached over to the rope hanging from the ceiling. Are, are, are you kidding me? And at that moment... Huh? The screen suddenly went pitch black. Probably because the candle, the only source of light, had gone out. Hey! 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 No matter what I said... There was no response from the darkness on the other end of the monitor. 
What the heck is this? What's going on? What in the world is going on? No, it, it doesn't matter. I, I, I have to do something about this. I might still be able to make it. I need to hurry to the music venue. I rushed out of the hospital and ran over to the music venue where the transmission was made. That looked like it was on the stage too, wasn't it? What announcement could that be? What announcement could that be? What announcement is it, y'all? Seriously? Ahem! Hope speak. Good morning, everyone! <laughs> now then, let's show- <sighs> They put this song right back on. That's hilarious. Just now, that was the morning Monokuma announcement. Fuyihiko should be arriving here shortly. <clears throat> I don't have time to wait for him. I gotta get to the venue. Bro, then quit running like you got doodle up your booty, bro. Run faster. Stretch your legs out farther. Oh, nice, 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 nice. The Titty Typhoon. Bro, I don't need to see this entrance exam. This entrance. Bro, we know. Bro. Bro. All right, nice, 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 nice. Let's get up and. Yeah, pl I rushed into the music venue with a prayer in my heart. But I completely forgot. Prayer. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Who is it, bro? Who is it, bro? Ibuki! I was too late. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm sitting up here like somebody can t can convince her to kill someone. Somebody convince her to kill herself, bro. Ugh, this is kind of fire. I need to find out how, who, when, and where. What? What the hell is this? In the hot air inside the music venue. I couldn't keep myself from shouting. Hot air? Why is it so hot? What is this strange hot air inside the music venue? No, now is not the time to worry about that. More importantly, why isn't anybody coming? What is everyone doing? Ugh. The body, the body discovery announcement? That's right. There hasn't been an announcement yet. That's why nobody's noticed. Th th then I, I need to hurry and let the others know From here the motel is close by there should be a lot of able-bodied people who can help me there. I, I, I should hurry I Ran to the motel as fast as I could trying desperately not to trip over my own feet Hey somebody get out here As soon as I arrived at the motel I started shouting for help as loud as I could You see I was wondering who was making such infernal racket. So it was you. G Gundam! Something awful has happened! What? Don't tell me. Do you intend to spread the pathogenic bacteria so you can take us all down with you? I won't let you! If you want to pass, you must defeat me first! Um. Just like that, she done kill all my momentum, bro. I hate this song, I hate her face, I hate her fat. Let me show you what I hate. I hate this song, I hate her face, I hate that fat belly button, I hate that pamper that she wear. I know she hasn't changed it now one time, cause they don't have babies on the island, it's not gonna be at the grocery store. Her pamper is doodle filled, pee pee filled. I hate that bow on her head, I hate how one ear is going down to the right. I hate how she, she tried to do her fucking makeup with them eyelashes and them pink cheeks. I hate her skin. Let me not go there, let me relax too. I love you, Monami, I'm just, I'm just joking with you, but just. When you show up, you just piss me off. We have just seen the next victim in the killing. I hate that this song is playing. It should be a lot more dramatic than this. Ibuki. You was good people. Your song sucked, but you was good people. Let's see who's on the chopping block for next episode. Because you know we're about to enter our investigation next episode. Makan. You were the only one responsible for all three of these patients. I don't know why that was the case. A lot more people could have came and helped you, but everybody was scared. Hioka was locked up in her room. 
Makan, also, when you went to sleep, why was that Why was that the first thing that happened after you went to sleep and got Nagito up out the bed? Who convinced Ibuki to leave to leave the freaking hospital room? Because last time I checked, I made sure she went to bed. Somebody, Makan, Makan, you looking crazy right now. You're looking crazy right now, but we'll see what happens next in this investigation next episode. If you are enjoying this series and want to see it continue, make sure you slap a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you are new and turn on that post notification bell so you know when I'm posting videos. I'm going live on Twitch, so make sure that you follow that link in the description. That being said, I love each and every one of you. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. What a game. It's finally heating up. This was a long filler-ass episode, but it's finally heating up.